Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today we are going to design four onlays on Exocad. Uh, we're gonna use the generic library and we're gonna modify it to look realistic and functional. I hope you enjoy and let's start the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For now I'll just set up the margins and I'll be back soon. All the margins are set, now it's time to place the teeth. In this case we have a cross bite. On the other side we have we have an only there, so the anatomy is not very clear on these teeth. I think we're gonna have some fun with this case. Now we're gonna we're gonna use the generic library, not my favorite library, but I want to use this one and try to improve improve um, improve the morphology. I guess that most technicians that use Exocad use this uh, library, so I like to give some examples on how you can improve the morphology of the generic library, and it's always a nice challenge to do so. Once you're happy with it, just go next, and now we start playing with the shapes. I know that the contact is going to be extremely strong in this area but I'm hiding the, the strength of it because otherwise I cannot 
see properly what I'm doing there and, and then in the end I'll just adjust the occlusal and see what happens there. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because it's going to help me to do more in the future and share with a colleague and also leave a comment saying if you agree with the morphology or if you would change anything about it and also you can comment what you want to see in the future for me to design and to explain the way I do it. Unfortunately there is the best we can do, otherwise it would look much better how it was before.
So I've been just designing these ones calmly and enjoying it. With this one I'll just explain you. I'll explain to you how it's my train of thought when I'm doing occlusal surfaces. So first I try to find the center of the tooth. She's there. Now with the first molar it's like you find the middle but and you find the middle of the palatal cusps or the lingual cusps in this case and then I know that the junction between the vestibular or the buccal mesial cusp and middle cusp join a bit like on the side and this one on this side so every time you over time whenever you do a lot of occlusal surfaces and occlusal tables you kind of learn these rules but and also if you watch my videos you learn how to do occlusal surfaces like this and if you know someone that is struggling with posterior morphology share with them this video so after finding the middle of the tooth so you go full strength, precise to a minimum, then you find the middle of the tooth, always try to find also where is the main sole going through, so this is the middle, now I'll do the buccal division and then I'll do the palatal division and then I'll go through the middle of the tooth and usually the second molar behaves more like a cross. Now you smooth it a bit, you never want to be too exaggerated. Now, what helps a lot to do like a good looking tooth is to create the ridges using again the, the thin tool and making the brush size bigger but the strength don't go too strong otherwise you're gonna have harsh lines so just go and slowly create the shape we are a bit restricted space wise so I know that if I go too far I'll have to trim back when adjusting the occlusion for now let's try to make it as pretty as we can So proximal I always like to go minus 0.01 and this case is basically done. 
I can just improve here and there, but basically this is how you take the generic library and improve it to look much more realistic and functional. I hope you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with a colleague. Thank you for watching.